So I get a lot of these comments asking, why does the Slinky look like it's lagging? And the answer is that it kind of is. Unlike a normal object where I grip one end and the whole thing moves as one piece, because the Slinky is so flexible, when I grip one end and pull, it takes time for the information of that pull to travel to the other end. There's a lag. In other words, force travels through the Slinky in the form of waves. Side note, the same thing does happen with normal objects, you just don't notice it because it's happening at the speed of sound. And if I tug on one end and then the other at exactly the resonant frequency of the slinky, I can keep adding energy to that wave until I build up a very powerful wave. If I pull in a twisting motion with enough force to counteract the force of gravity, that exact force will be transferred to each coil one by one and they'll all follow the same path through the air. Then when the peak of that wave of tension reaches my other hand, I can then redirect it in the opposite direction. It naturally will want to go in the opposite direction, just like if you pull a rubber band out to one side, it's going to want to swing back to the other side. So you get these shapes that freeze in the air and it looks like it's lagging.